Welcome back to my channel. If you have a sweet tooth for cakes and desserts, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious, moist and rich Southern style marble pound cake. Okay, to get started, the first thing you should do is get your pan prepped, greased and floured, or if you choose to use a pan spray, get it all sprayed up and ready for your cake batter. Now for my ingredients, I'm gonna be using three cups of sugar, three sticks of butter, and I'm using salted butter. We're gonna use three cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder as well. So I'm just gonna add that to my flour. Now I'll be using a cup of buttermilk, I'll also be using two tablespoons of vanilla extract, six eggs. I have an extra half a stick of butter and this is for my cocoa and my chocolate chips. I'm using a half a cup of chocolate chips. You could use any kind of chocolate that you would like to add to this. And what I'm gonna do is take this glass dish here and I'm gonna melt down this butter, and then I'm gonna combine these chips and let them melt down in the butter. To that, I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of this Hershey's cocoa powder, and this is gonna be my mixture for the chocolate marble. Now, the first thing to do would be to cream your sugar and your butter, and this will probably take about five to seven minutes. So I'll come back after this is well creamed and show you what that should look like. Okay, while that's creaming, let me just show you quickly how I do the chocolate portion of this recipe. Now your butter is super hot because you wanna microwave it until it is completely melted and simmering a little bit. Add in your chocolate chips or your baking chocolate and it's gonna start melting immediately as you can see because the butter is so hot. So it doesn't take much for these chocolate chips to melt down. Then you wanna take your cocoa powder and add it to the mixture as well and stir it until you don't see any more of the dry powder. After you get this well incorporated, just set it to the side and let it cool off until you get to the next step. Okay, it's been about five to six minutes. And this is what you wanna look for. Your butter and your sugar should be creamed well, just like this. A nice pale yellow and nice and fluffy looking. Now it's time to put in your eggs and you just wanna add your eggs one at a time and make sure each egg is well incorporated before you add the next egg. Okay, here I'm adding in my last egg you just wanna make sure that it's well mixed before you start adding in the next ingredients, but be careful not to over mix at this point because if you over mix your eggs, that's an easy way to make your cake fall. Before you move on to the next step, be sure to scrape your bowl down to make sure that everything is well incorporated. Okay, now I got all the eggs in and we're gonna alternate our dry and our wet ingredients. Now I've already put in the bacon powder and the bacon soda and you just want to blend it just like this before you start adding your, your flour in. And you're going to do this in about three or four equal portions. Starting with your flour and making sure that you finish with your flour as well. Now you wanna start off at your lowest speed so that your flour doesn't fly out all over the place and make a big mess for you to have to clean up. So here I'm adding in my last portion of flour. And you only want this to blend until it's well incorporated. Then you're gonna turn off your mixer and hand mix for the last 30 seconds. That way you know you haven't over mixed your batter. So scoop anywhere between a third of the batter and a half of a batter. If you really want it extra chocolatey, then you will 
mix more like half of your batter. Some people just want a little streak going through their marble cake. So then you would use like a quarter of your mixture. Now you can make this cake only using just the Hershey's powder, cocoa powder, but I like my cake to be nice and rich and chocolatey. So therefore, that's why I add the chocolate chips to it as well. Okay, so what I do, I don't do anything complicated or extra fancy. I'll take half of this vanilla batter and put one layer of this and then I'll go back in and put one layer of the chocolate. After that, I'll put the last layer of this vanilla and then you just create a design with a spoon to uh, get that marble effect. Okay, so this is the last of the vanilla. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this spatula and scoop from the bottom and bring it to the top and turn it just like this. That's how I do mine. You scoop it, turn it, scoop it, turn it, and you do that all the way around and that's it, that's it. And it creates such a pretty design after it's baked. So I'm gonna bake this at 325 degrees for about an hour to an hour and 25 minutes. Now, while that one is baking, I happen to have one that's already done, and this is what it looks like. And I wanted to show you this because you can freeze these and they freeze very well. Just like you see, I have it all wrapped up in plastic wrap. That's all you have to do. And you can get ahead of the game like during the holidays. You can get your cakes already out of the way by baking them, wrapping them up in plastic wrap and putting them in the freezer. When you want to take them out and thaw them out, you just sit them on the countertop and they thaw out in a couple of hours and it's just like you just baked it. So I'm gonna slice this one up and show you what it looks like inside. If you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more pound cakes or desserts in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.